Welcome Libra to your tarot love readings for the one that loves you or the one that you might love here. Um, these messages are going to be general messages so guys please be mindful of that throughout the reading. If you are interested in a personalized tarot spread please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is along with all the different types of readings that I offer. So the messages here are intended for Libra Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and for those of you that are maybe cross-watching. Okay, you've got the Sun in reverse. Okay, so I'm sensing um, uh, repression is what I'm seeing. Okay, there's, there's a touch of fear, negativity, or holding back with the Sun in reverse. I also feel like some of you, you know, you're emotions your positive emotions have maybe dipped here when it comes to how you feel you know how you feel in this relationship and how you feel about this person here um the sun in reverse seems like it's temporarily blocked by the clouds that, that's how i sort of see this um and i feel like right now you may be going through a bit of an emotionally turbulent situation here or you may be going through something here maybe you guys are just not vibing maybe you feel this person is emotionally blocking you maybe you're the one that's emotionally blocking them here this is blocked happiness this is this could also be unrealistic expectations you may not be seeing the situation for what it is um, but what rather for what you want it to be here Libra you do have the three of wands as well you're wanting something so much more with this individual you're wanting to step outside of your comfort zone i feel like for, you know you want something long term something stable something consistent you might potentially want to settle down and get married with this, this individual but you feel as though they're blocking you you feel as though this person is putting up a barriers whether internal or external the energies can be in reverse so this could be you libra maybe you're the one that's doing the blocking here and although you might very well want the same things here maybe you're scared maybe you're not ready maybe now's not the time maybe you're uncertain here. I'm sure you or they have their reasons here. Okay, you do have the Six of Cups. I'm sorry, the Six of Pentacles. There's definitely an imbalance, okay? I picked this up earlier because I feel like yeah okay you may want the same things but for some reason you guys have different approaches like someone here wants to pursue you know those goals those ambitions whilst the other person seems to be blocking it you know the sun in reverse blocked okay blocked energy emotional internal or external blocked energy here with the three of wands it's someone looking forward to the future okay someone looking forward to future plans future investments some you know this person is looking forwards not looking backwards whereas with the six of pentacles notice the set of scales they're imbalanced okay so it's like your your or this person here is giving away so much of themselves like their energy feels right now like they're not sure how much more they can give like they feel like they're depleted they feel like they've given it their all whereas the other person has been taking and has been taken for quite some time so there's definitely this sense of imbalance with the four of swords as well this is like someone driven to exhaustion possibly because this person has done all that he or she could so you know whether the energies are in reverse for you or whether this is your energy we're currently you know um fixating on the four of swords is someone who i feel like is holding back possibly because they've got nothing left to give possibly because they've you know driven themselves to exhaustion here there's a lot that's going on in your mind this is your energy i feel libra there's a lot that's going on your mind um maybe this person maybe you guys aren't communicating or if you are communicating i don't feel like it's proper communication because i feel like someone is putting up barriers someone is um blocking you know there's blockages here you feel as though you're not getting the answers that you want or need from this individual or you feel as though you might not necessarily always be able to communicate with them maybe they shut you down maybe they don't necessarily have like a very good or expressive communication style here um you're tired libra you're tired of playing games there's a difference between wanting to have fun and someone who's playing mind games, you know. And right now, I feel like you're, you're tired. You've been there. You've done that. This isn't what you want. You want something. You want something serious. You want something um, committed. You want. You want to stop playing games. Is what I'm seeing.
you're hoping though notice his hands how they're in the position of a prayer you're still hopeful you're hopeful that this person will come around you're hopeful that this person will rise and meet you here you're wanting to you're wanting to sort of you know continue this here continue this connection here I do feel like you're hurt though you're hurt by the way that they're um, that that you're hurt by the way that they've been acting because you know we we can speculate that the reason why the figure here has you know is taking rest or is in a state of um, meditation because he may still be tender from the wounds that have been inflicted so I feel like you're hurting I feel like whether you you know you like to admit this to yourself or not or even to them temperance okay so there def definitely needs to be some healing that needs to take place here healing of emotions healing of the situation healing of a past hurt here um temperance is all about patience moderation it's balance notice the six of pentacles we spoke about a disproportionate energy we spoke about an imbalance here so it's very important for the two of you to create a balance here to create a happy medium i'm seeing sacrifices and i'm seeing compromises um please be reminded here that you know it's not love if you're loving alone and i do feel like this person is loving you but i also feel like they're blocking you it's like a better way of putting it is they have the potential, they have the capability to love and uh, be loved in return, but they're blocking it here. For some reason, they are blocking. Maybe they're not ready. Maybe they feel that they can't love you the way you deserve to be loved, okay? There definitely needs to be a balance. Because notice, you know, the angel pours from one cup and into another. Again, it's this sense of, you know, someone is giving or pouring too much of um, themselves into the connection whereas the other cup is receiving it the six of swords uh, the sorry the seven of swords here i really can't count today um i am mathematically challenged so i guess that's that the seven of swords air energy again maybe you feel as though they're being dishonest here maybe you feel as though you can't trust them or you can't trust the situation or you can't trust their emotions or you can't trust their silence here maybe they've given you a reason to distrust them in the past um or maybe not maybe it's your sense of insecurities that are creeping up and speaking here but you feel as though something feels a little like you feel as though this maybe their silence really, really isn't all that bad but you're thinking that they're using their silence as leverage or to get away with something here you're not trusting something you're not trusting the situation or there's a gut instinct here that is communicating something to you if that's the case then look into it because i feel like there's something here that feels a little bit shifty libra it does um Something he feels a little bit manipulative is what I'm seeing. Okay, because whenever you get the Seven of Swords, it may imply that either you're the one that's being dishonest here or someone here is being um, dishonest with you, sneaky, conniving, um, playing tricks. Or maybe it's this whole games. We spoke about, you know, the childlike energy. I am getting maybe a games and the whole imbalance. Maybe you feel like this person is playing games or is taking you for a ride here. Whatever it is, you're not trusting some process here. The eight of wands in reverse, things are stagnated, okay? They're not moving. Again, I feel like someone wants to move forward the connection. Someone wants something long term, but they're getting something short term and they're getting something inconsistent. What they want when what they want is consistency. This person isn't coming forward, definitely not with any communication, or definitely, you know, there's a lack of openness to their energy, or if it's the if it's in reverse, there's lack of openness to your energy here. They're not communicating what's really on their mind, and perhaps this is where we make the connection to that whole notion of um, dishonesty here maybe this person feels something but they're not telling you they feel certain feelings but they're not necessarily communicating them to you this just um fell out justice in reverse okay definitely an imbalance here you feel as though or this person feel, may feel as though they're being disrespected or treated uh poorly or not fairly they're not being heard or understood they may feel as though there's a miscommunication misunderstanding between the two of you again i'm getting the whole notion of correcting a situation or balancing the scales okay they you guys might have started out the connection very strongly here but something he has something i feel like there's blockages so there's an imbalance here and i feel like it's this whole blockage or imbalance that is 
getting in the way of this connection. You've got the moon in reverse. You've got a few cards in reverse here, and the moon in reverse, okay. Um, okay, this person has, okay, whether it's you or this person's energy, this person has certain anxieties or insecurities about the connection or about themselves here, okay. They could have fears of emotional intimacy, they could have um, fears of being in a relationship, or there could be, you know, personal insecurities here that are creeping up and... Um, in turn are sort of taking over the connection here is what I'm seeing. Um, the moon is a symbol of intuition though. So again, you know, we spoke about you're not trusting something here. If you're not trusting the connection, at the very least trust your intuition because it is trying to communicate something to you. It is trying to tell you something that you're not seeing or you're choosing not to see here. Fears, deception, anxiety, insecurities is what's coming up. These need to be resolved, okay? Because I'm getting the whole... There needs to be, com there needs to be, sorry, not conflict, there needs to be resolution where there is conflict, there needs to be movement where there is stagnation, okay, so I'm getting this whole, I'm also getting, look, it just could be a misinterpretation, because the moon does offer illusions, Some someone, something someone said or something someone did may be misinterpreted in the wrong way, okay, perception is everything, it is our reality, no, no two people look at the same object and see the same things so please be mindful of that it just could be illusions here you know things in the nighttime appear you know very different due to the way the shadows fall than they are in the day so again make sure you're not being you know things aren't being veiled by illusions here okay there you have it libra thank you for watching thank you for listening please show your um, support by subscribing to this channel liking commenting or sharing if you are interested in a personal reading please feel free to inquire um, otherwise guys do take care i will share with you more general love readings throughout the week so stay tuned thank you guys again bye for now